And joining us now is ESPN.com motorsports writer Terry Blunt. We just can't get enough of Trevor Bain, or at least that is what NASCAR is hoping. Instead of the Bain events, how about the Bain effect? What is it? Nicole, it's big. You know, look, they don't make 20-year-old young men better than this kid. He is the all-American apple pie boy if there ever was one. And it's no secret that NASCAR has skewed an older demographic the last few years. They've really lost a lot of their 18 to 35-year-old market. This kid can help bring them back. Let me give you two concrete examples. Number one, uh, there was a story today about how his Daytona 500 merchandise has already doubled what Jamie McMurray sold all last year after his Daytona 500 win. That's one example. Two, the average age of the Daytona 500 this year was 35. Eleven drivers were over 40. And only three were under 25. He was one of them, and he can really help bring that younger demographic back to NASCAR. He's also the seventh driver to earn his first cup win in the 500. And then you look at the guys like Mark Martin, who's 0 for 27, and Tony Stewart, who has 16 Daytona, 500, or Daytona wins, but not a single 500 wins. How do guys like that feel about Bain? You know, Nicole, he brought that up today on a conference call. He said, I was really worried that all these great stars would think of me as this 20-year-old punk who was taking away their, their thunder. <laughs> and, and I can assure you that no one feels that way about this kid. They get it. And they also like him. He's just such a nice guy. He's a yes, sir, yes, ma'am kind of kid. He started racing when he was five. When he was 15, he moved out of his parents' house so he could start racing at the lower levels of NASCAR in the North Carolina area, Charlotte area. So everyone respects him, they're happy for him, and no one feels that way. They, they know this is a good thing for NASCAR. Quickly, the other feel-good story was Brian Keselowski. Any news on what his future will be? Yeah, Nicole, I've been exchanging emails with his mother, Kay, today, and they are desperately trying to get the car ready for Phoenix. They want to go. It had a lot of damage from the big wreck. They're trying to get it ready, and they're still planning to go to Phoenix. But if that doesn't work out, they will race in Bristol in March. So it is a good thing for him what happened. He is going to race more cup events. They're still hopeful to race this weekend in Phoenix.